What is up my adventure crew, Nick Morris here. Welcome to another episode of Two Minute Taco Tip Tuesdays. Today I'm gonna show you how I rig my hooks. I'm having a lot of people asking me questions about how to rig hooks, and I'm gonna show you how I do it. I'm not saying this is the correct way, I'm not saying this is the wrong way, I'm just saying this is how I do it and what works for me. Everybody has to find what works for them best, and let me just show you what I, what I tend to do. We have to start with leader line. Now my most absolute favorite leader line to use, hands down, I'll only use this leader line, I don't use any other leader line, especially for trolling a live bait, is Jinkai. Jinkai makes a superior product. Abrasion resistant, um, super strong, great stretch. This line is unbelievable. My big morning I caught was on Jinkai. I love this line, I will only use this line. For leader, I use 300 pound test. You can find this leader at a lot of tackle shops. In Hawaii, it's extremely hard, especially on Oahu to find Jinkai blue line. You can find clear, you will not find blue. So I tend to order a lot of it from online, either Amazon or eBay. I'll put links in my description to some of the best prices where you can get it. Um, and like I said, by far the best line. These are 1.9 crimps. That's the size that fits perfect for that leader line and a crimper. A hook with a trailer hook. You're gonna probably use that majority of the times. Uh, let's put our usual two minutes on the clock and we'll go from there. We'll put two minutes right there. So what I like to do is I like to measure out two arm lengths of line. IGFA rules, I'm not exactly sure on that. Like Hawaii, we're meat hunters. We're not going after records over here. It's more just for, for meat hunting. But I do two arm lengths, okay? I'm not talking, I'm like 5'9". So two more arm lengths is maybe less than 12 feet. One, two. Figuring out the clippers are the best cutters. You're also gonna wanna cut about another, maybe a foot of leader line. That will be used with your trailer hook setup. There's already line saver in there. Line saver is a small clear tube. I think I believe it's a one eighth inch tube. And all that's for is just to save your line from running the bass, brass tube inside. You always wanna put line saver. Put the line saver, burn the end so it doesn't slide through, and that's gonna save your line. We're gonna slide the, the fish line right through the hole, like so. Comes out the other end, right? Here's your line. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your crimp, you're gonna slide your crimp on. You're gonna slide it through, this is gonna be your, your bottom hook, okay? Your, your trailer hook. You're gonna wanna do a Flemish, a Flemish eye, right? So you go through once. Okay. Go through again. Go through again. I want this knot a little on the smaller side, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick this through here. I'm gonna pull it tight, okay? It's not crimped yet. It's not crimped yet, but I made a small Flemish eye, as you can see, and I'm gonna crimp it now, okay? I'm gonna use the, the third biggest hole on here first, okay? Now when crimping, do not ever crimp it at the very end, okay? See this? You're gonna leave a little bit out, like so, okay? And the reason being is if you crimp at the very, very end, it tends to make, uh, what, what I've heard from some guys is it can cut the line because you kind of smash it towards the end. So I always leave a little bit out at the end, give it a good smash, okay? I move over, I wanna smash it one more time. I'm leaving a little bit out at the end again one more smash, and we will call that good. To me, that's a great a great crimp job right there. So the ends are a little bit smashed, and we pretty much left it untouched in the middle, and the ends are just perfect. Okay, we'll call that good. We're gonna snip this really close. Okay. Okay, so it's cut, we're good. Now for this for the next part, okay? 
know some people are gonna bitch about this. See, that's not how you do it. it. Is how I do it. I never had it slip on me, break on me. I had almost cut through it, but I always did this. Okay. We're gonna slide another crimp down the line. Okay. We're gonna do one more Flemish eye, and then another Flemish eye on it. And I want this one to be on the smaller side and tight. Okay. You might have to play with it a little bit. Wow, this video is definitely going to be longer than two minutes. Okay? We're going to push it back through the hole. We're going to push it back through the hole. Okay? Now it looks like this. You see it? It's uncrimped, right? I don't know if you guys can really see that, but... Okay, now the key, this is the absolute key with the setup when I do it this way, okay? I want the hook loop to be the exact same angle as this loop, okay? If it's sideways, I want them to both be sideways. I don't know if you can see that. And the key is from my next step, okay? So I want them to both to be this way, okay? What you have to do sometimes is you have to twist it, get it where you want it, and when you crimp it, it'll stay there, you know what I mean? So I got to hold this guy a little bit. I kind of want it right here. It's the thing I want. I'm going to get a crimp in. Once I get a crimp in on it, it shouldn't be moving anymore. One more time. Perfect. Okay? You see how that looks? Let's see. Both loops look the same way. They both follow the same angle, which is what I want. This loop and my hook loop, okay? Not the Flemish eye on here, but my hook loop. So the Flemish eye up here and my hook follow the same exact angle. You see that? That is key, absolute key, okay? We have the lighter, I don't burn it, but I have the option there for you guys. So what you can do is cut it shorter over here, about there, and burn it. I don't, I don't even burn my lines. So there we have, our trigger hook is set now, okay? You're gonna get another crimp. Your lure's already on the line, okay? You're gonna slide that crimp down the line. Now since that loop matches up perfect, the loop will sit right here perfect on this one. We'll have a perfect, perfect, perfect set. We'll slide your first hook on first. Now the crimp is already on there. And then we'll slide your second hook on. Okay. We're gonna go through once. We're gonna do another Flemish eye on this one. Go through once. Go through again. And one last time, okay? I'll make it a little bit smaller because I don't want jumping over. I don't want the hooks jumping over each other and getting a weird, a weird angle when they run. I want them to run perfectly symmetrical to each other, if that makes sense. I'm gonna pull this crimp down. Like I said, crimp it, leave a little bit off the end. Okay, there's one. There's two. This tag in, like again, you can. Not to with a lighter if you want. I just choose not to. I never had a line slip. I don't plan to ever have one slip. So now we have it all rigged up, okay? So the reason I like doing it this way, the main reason I like doing it this way is for the owners, it's pretty hard for the owners to bite through the two cramps. The only way, um, that's really the only fish that's gonna bite through this. Uh, Mars will beat it up, but pretty hard for them to bite through it. Uh, the ones can only really cut through here, here, or here. They can't cut through the main part where they're, you know, the plan is when they bite, they're probably gonna have both hooks in their mouth anyway. So there we have it, we have it set up. We're gonna slide it down, and we're gonna see, hopefully it matches up perfectly, right where I want it. That right there is beautiful, okay? Two hooks in there. I love the way this hooks up is I have one hook really low, 
you can go a little lower with it. I know the corner guys like it a little lower. I don't like it that low. I like it right. I like the bottom shank almost in the lure. And one more cut at the top, both sides. Bingo, bango, they get hooked, right? So that is set up beautifully. Now we're gonna finish off. We're gonna do one more Flemish eye. Good, one more Flemish eye for the top. Like I said, always leave a little end off the end. Do not hit the end. So you're just a little bit there, you see that? Always leave a little bit at the end. Tie again, you can either melt it with a lighter or like me, I'm gonna cut a little bit off. I'm not gonna cut it all the way short. I'm gonna leave a little bit on there. And that is it, we're done guys. Beautiful setup. I know it's a little longer than two minutes. It's actually gonna be hard for me to keep doing two minute tackle two Tuesdays. I'm gonna try my best to make it two minutes, but sometimes it just runs a little longer. I can't, I don't wanna rush through it. I don't wanna skip any steps for you guys. So if you like this video, you like the content, you like the tips, if it helps you out, please, please, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, if it helped you out, if it answered your questions, leave a comment. So you know, that helped me out, you know what I mean? It helps, it helps the channel grow. Uh, and if you, if there's something else you wanna see, something you have questions about, Leave a mess, leave a comment, let me know. Like, yeah, hey, I wanna see how you do this. I wanna see how you do that. You know, like, I'm thinking about making a video where I can show you guys how to make a, a gaff for under 20 bucks. A super good gaff for under 20 hours. If you guys wanna see that video, let me know and I'll show you guys how to make a gaff under 20 hours. Very, very strong. I guarantee you it will not break. Uh, thanks as always, guys. Until next time, tight lines, safe fishing. And we have another fishing video coming up to you guys this week. Guaranteed. It's gonna be a good one. I already. I already filmed it. It's going to be epic. Don't worry. All right, guys. Tight line, safe fishing next week. And this is from my good friend, Danielle. She's been today. Super good artist. I'll put her um, her link in my description. She's on Instagram. Super good artist. She does a lot of art in my house and in my office. Thanks as always, guys. Tight line, safe fishing. See you on the next episode. Bing. Two minutes are definitely up. It's it's over. I get this guy to run tomorrow. I'll put this guy in the water tomorrow.